Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Elder Care's weekly webinar, or not weekly webinar series, Annual Endurance Training Eras Edition. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. I am Adrian Ostris. I am the Digital Marketing Director here at Elder Care, and I am super excited about today's topic. I know part one and part two have been Jennifer, Amy, and Melanie. They've been talking about all kinds of things. Um, and then this morning, it's all about technology. So we have the digital team here uh, to talk all things technology. And let me see if I can't go to the next slide. And this morning, we also have Sarah with us. Hi, I'm Sarah Gillerin, and I'm a digital marketer here at Elder Care. Um, and I just wanted to point out that this is a conversation, not a presentation. So feel free to ask questions throughout and we'll make sure that they get answered. There's a little picture here of how you can get to the question box and ask questions. It might be minimized and you can open it, but down there is where you can ask any questions you have. Yes, absolutely. Find that question box. Go ahead and type something in there. Let us know where you're watching from. Um, tell us good morning. Tell us how cold it is where you are. You will notice that we are doing things a little different. We are all working from home still this week because of the road conditions and school closures. So we are working from home. So please bear with us um, if you hear any dogs barking or any noises. Uh, please give us some grace there. I don't know that I see any questions coming through. Oh, there's a good morning. He's in north, north of Atlanta. Well, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. I do see quite a few of you on here. Um, we definitely want you to leave this morning's training feeling very confident in all the tools that Elder Care offers. Um, so please, if you have questions about any of the features, any of the tools that we have, please interact with us so we can make sure you're leaving confident um, in all the tools that we offer. The agenda for this morning, we're gonna kind of recap part one and two. Um, I know that some of you were unable to attend one and two, so I'll do a recap of those. All of your options for submitting applications, and then we're going to dive into Medicare Center. I will actually log in and do a live demo um, of the Medicare Center. We got, good morning everyone from Gatlin, Tennessee. Virginia's 30 degrees. Oh my goodness, it's nice and warm where you are. <laughs> Uh, good morning, Virginia, Virginia. A lot of people from Virginia this morning. Dallas, it's 26 degrees. We got a 19 degrees. And then a 25 degrees. Nice. It has, it got down to eight degrees here uh, last night in Hot Springs, Arkansas. So it's, it's a little cold. Uh, good morning, Ashley from Tampa. Thank you so much for being here. We got a Miami is 70 degrees. That that sounds nice, doesn't it, Sarah? <laughs> oh. um, so here's a nice quote from Theodore Roosevelt. It's do what you can with what you've got where you are. That is definitely one of my favorite quotes and definitely um, fits with today's topic because um, you definitely have access to a lot of tools um, here with elder care. So quickly, we're going to do a quick recap. Uh, part one um, was the ready to sell era. And that kind of went over, you know, how to get set up as a life and health insurance agent, you know, being an individual or a business unit, how to set up, you know, an LLC, why elder care we went over all the services that we offer um, and how we help agents where they are we went over all the different products you should have in your briefcase um, i know that we're strictly talking medicare throughout this training but we do offer you know all of the products um, and then the certifications required and then exactly how you can see if you are 100 percent ready to start writing those applications um, you can find these recordings on our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is Elder Care Broker. 
um, part one and part two recordings are on there already. So if you did miss those, you can check out our YouTube channel. Part two was the Medicare era is what we're calling it. <clears throat> Jennifer and Amy went over the basics of Medicare basically and educated you, know, you on how you can present it to your clients, um, went over a needs analysis form that we provide, your different appointment options, how to get in front of people, some marketing ideas, and appointment setting tips. So that was all on part two. And endurance is not just the ability to bear a hard thing, but to turn it into glory. So this is a lot of information. If you've stuck out part one, part two, and are now part three, we definitely know it's a lot of information and we appreciate you attending. Um, but we are breaking it up into four parts for you. So hopefully that's making it a little bit easier for you to retain. So we provide some of the best technology. Some of those things are eldercarebroker.com. Within that portal, you can quote the carriers that we have, and you can also be directed to the correct carrier portals. And with t65.app, you can quote the carriers that we have, and it's great for client facing. It sets it up in a really nice way where it breaks down the quotes really simply for a client. And carrier portals are also accessible. Um, our agent service team can really help you navigate them, or if you're having trouble getting logged in, they can assist you with that. And there's also MedicareCenter.com, which Adrian's going to show us later, but on there, you can quote all the carriers and you can en enroll most of them through Medicare Center as well. Yes, absolutely. And and like I said, you know, we're kind of mostly talking about Medicare products um, through this training, but we do offer tools for life insurance under 65 ACA marketplace. I mean, we have all the tools for all the products. So if you're, I know I have some new agents on here starting in life. So just know that we still offer all the tools that you'll need um, for all the products. And without further ado, I'm gonna switch to Medicare Center. I don't think I see any questions yet, do we? Remember, if you have any questions on what we offer, please, please put them in the question box. Medicare Center. All right, so does everyone see Medicare Center now? Okay, very good. So before we dive in, I do have a poll that I added for all of you to answer, just so I can get an understanding um, of ex the audience that I'm talking to. So you should see a poll right now. It is asking, are you registered for MedicareCenter.com. So this just will give me an idea of knowing who has registered versus who has not registered yet. So far, 63% yes are registered. Okay, now it's 60, 40, 60, yes, 40, no. That's kind of where it's staying at. Don't be hesitant, just check the box yes or no if you've registered for Medicare Center. Because if you have not, I'm definitely going to show you how. <laughs> okay, I think that is everyone's answers. All right, so for those of you who have not registered yet, you will have to go to MedicareCenter.com and then hit Get Started. This is where you are going to register for your account. And just keep in mind that this platform is completely free to our insurance agents. It, and how you get access to it and how you're able to use all the amazing features of it are because you have those Medicare Advantage contracts with an integrity partner. So just keep in mind that when you do have your contracts um, with an integrity partner like Eldercare, Eldercare is an integrity partner, um you'll have instant free access to this so you just go to medicarecenter.com and hit get started 
It's very easy. You put in your NPN number, you fill in the blanks, you will get an email, and that is how you'll confirm your account. And then once you do that, you'll be able to log in. Let's get us logged in. And I'm going to kind of do a general overview um, of kind of how the Medicare Center works as a whole. And then I'll kind of let Sarah talk call recording and then I'll do some live demos on how to run some quotes. So it, it's a really great flow of things. You know, part one, you learned of all the products you need, all the services we offer. Part two was how to present it to your clients, you know, explaining to them what their options are and how you can educate them best on their options. And then part three is going to be, you know, where you go to run those quotes for them and see what's available in their area and then even take it a step further and um, do that application through here. So you'll see in the handouts, there is a carrier comparison chart. This is gonna show you all the carriers that are available on Medicare Center. And this is the number one reason agents absolutely love Medicare Center, and it's because it's the one login for all your carriers. So just think about that for a moment. You don't have to log into every carrier portal to run a quote. You can just log into Medicare Center, quote all your carriers, and even do the enrollments for your carriers just with one login and password. It, it's so impressive and it, it helps agents save so much time um, not having to log in and remember all these login and passwords for every carrier portal. So if you have not started using Medicare Center yet and you know, you're know you doing Medicare Advantage and MedSup with us already, I hope this inspires you to give it a try for 2024 because it will definitely um, help you improve throughout the year um, using Medicare Center, saving all that time with the one login. Um, if it does say your NPN doesn't exist, that might be um, because you are not already working with an integrity partner. So you do just have to have one contract to get access. So we can definitely help you with that. Uh, I think Marion, if I can read that right, um, after this, okay. But I'm super proud of you for going in and trying. So you're definitely, all of you are welcome to go along with me on this um, if you want to. So when you first log in, this is what it looks like. It's the Medicare Center dashboard. Um, Medicare Center has a lot of new features like the policy snapshot that released uh, fall of last year. So it's still pretty new. Um, it's really impressive. So if you are writing those applications through an integrity partner, we now can sync that with the carriers platforms and it will tell you your policy number um, and whether it was declined, applied, or issued. So you'll see here, um, and this is what it may look like for you, you will have unlinked policies. All you have to do is click this number, and then you just have to create a profile for them. So once you create a contact profile in here for your client, then it will tell you whether it was declined, applied, or issued. And it'll keep track of that. Um, throughout the year for you as you're writing business. Uh, there is a task list. This shows you uh, the plan and roll leads from the lead center because Medicare Center does sync with lead center. I'll kind of go over that in a minute. You can track the 48 hour rule on here. So that's a new thing that CMS released. You know, um, when you set an appointment, you have to get that SOA and then wait 48 hours uh, to do that appointment. You can set yourself reminders. Um, and then this kind of goes into the call recording feature. So if you have inbound calls that are not linked to a contact profile, it'll be here. And then this is how you can link that recording to that client. And then there's also recent activity down here. So you can see what's going on. You can see if someone's you know, signed an SOA recently or who you were last working with on adding prescriptions. 
so I'm going to kind of let you talk about the call recording feature, Sarah, because that is another um, great feature that Medicare Center offers. Um, well, as you probably know, uh, CMS has started recording requiring that all sales, marketing, and enrollment calls are recorded. And so Medicare Center created a way for you to do that within here. And so when you register for Medicare Center or when you first logged in after they implemented this, your agent phone number was generated. And so Adrian's showing where that is now. And it's just in your account. And so they assign you this number and that's the number that your clients can call where it will be recorded through here. Um, and then the phone number that it will be forwarding to is whatever is under your personal information. And so you can change that at any time if you are gonna be out of the office or anything like that, um, you can change that out. And so once you have your phone number, you'll want to add the Medicare Center operator number into your phone because that's what will be showing up on your phone to answer your client calls. And that number is 254-271-0085. And so once you have all that ready, the way that you take incoming calls, so once you give your recorded line number to your clients, um, the way that they call you is they just call that number and then the Medicare Center operator number will show up on your phone. And once you answer it, you'll get connected. And then a little button will pop up where you can pull up the call script of the required uh, disclaimer that you'll need to read. And I see Marion asked for operator number again. It is 254-271-0085. Um, and so that's how you take incoming calls. And then to do outgoing calls, you just create the contact in here and you'll just click on their phone number in their contact and it'll call your phone. And then once you answer it, it'll call your client and it'll be recorded. And if there's any phone calls that don't have a contact or you're not actively in Medicare Center when it happens, you can always go back and link them there will be a little thing beside it where it'll say link call or link recording and you'll just click that and find the contact or create the contact. So it's really pretty easy to keep track of. Um, and we have more in depth trainings on our YouTube channel as well. If you wanna see like a demo of what a phone call is actually like, we have a lot of those. And Medicare Center compliantly stores these for 10 years like the requirement is. So it's really helpful to have. And I see Peter asked, does the agent phone number ever change? It does not change once you have it. Um, it's set by whatever phone number is in your account. They try to make it the same area code. Um, it is possible to maybe change the area code, but it's pretty difficult to do so it shouldn't ever change unless it's requested so and sabrina asked how did you get to that page you just go to your name and then account and that's where you can find all of your phone number information yes absolutely and i'm glad you made that point about additional training because Obviously, we don't have time to go over every little feature in the Medicare Center. That would definitely take a lot of time. So if there is a feature that you feel like you need more training on, either put it in the question box or email us, call us, so we can either do a one-on-one -on -one training with you or send you the, the videos for that feature. Medicare Center's done a great job of uh, providing a lot of training for all the different features on here. So if you just want call recording, uh, we can definitely send you that. I see some HRA questions coming through. There's a whole training specifically for the HRAs that are available on here. Um, the agent website, 
any certain feature that we talk about, just make a note and then that way we can come back and, and do some more in-depth training on that feature with you. Um, is that, are we good for questions? Um, Shirley asked, is there a charge? And this is all free through Medicare Center, so. Yes, there is free, no free. charge. Yes, exactly. Okay, so I see some more questions kind of coming over about the Medicare Center operator. And so we'll we'll definitely follow back up with you, Irish, and explain explain how that works again. Because the, the videos that we have just on the call recording, we Sarah and I actually do a live demo where we're calling each other. So we, we show you exactly um, some real life scenarios on how the call recording works. But the most important thing for all of you to know is, you know, CMS made this requirement and, you know, Integrity stepped up and provided this feature for our brokers at no cost. So just remember there's no cost for any features on here to store, to use, anything like that. So that's the call recording feature, kind of went over the SOA feature. Um, I am gonna kind of create a contact in here to kind of show you how to run some Medicare Advantage quotes. And then I'm gonna jump into Medicare Supplement quotes because that's kind of been our focus on this endurance training is the Medicare Advantage and the Medicare Supplement. But I'm also gonna show you where you can go to do some hospital indemnity and final expense as well. So for Medicare Advantage, I'm gonna go up here to contacts because for you to utilize the, the quoting feature on here, you have to create a contact. That's the only way it's gonna work on the Medicare Center. So you'll go to contacts, you'll click add new. If you do have a spreadsheet um, of your clients that you wanna import, you absolutely can do that. That's a great feature that Medicare Center has. You, you can't import a prescription list or anything, but you would be able to import you know, their names, their addresses, their phone numbers, and everything like that. So to create a contact, you have to have first name, last name. I'm gonna say zip code because that's how the quoting works. So when you're creating a contact, the most important things are first name, last name, zip, state, county, and then either an email or a phone number. I will use Elder Cares. You'll see here's my options for counties. When it comes to Medicare Advantage, remember everything's based on county. So that is why it's really important to put that in the your client's profile because that's how you're going to see what the You can say whether your contact is a prospect or a client, and then you're going to hit create contact. It's letting me know that there's a potential duplicate because I do use the same phone number for all of these examples. So you'll see here, here's my client's first name, last name. This is gonna be their contact profile. So you'll see here um, the phone number. If you do need that disclaimer, we call it a call script in here. I know it can be a little confusing, but like Sarah said on those sales calls, you do have a required disclaimer, you know, for the Medicare Advantage and PDP that you have to say within the first 60 seconds. So. You can see that by hitting call script on your client's profile. If those contracts, your Medicare Advantage and PDP contracts are with an integrity partner, the disclaimer will automatically count for you how many plans and products you offer in your client's area. So it, that is an amazing feature so you're not having to manually count, <laughs> you know, what how many carriers and products you offer in their area, Medicare Center will do that for you. So if you're new to offering Medicare Advantage, don't let all these rules scare you because obviously you can see here, Medicare Center does provide you everything that you need to be compliant in doing these sales. You can tag your clients um, certain things. So this is why it works as a great CRM. You can organize your clients 
you know, by the products they have, by the different campaigns that there are, um, and you can even make your own tags. So if you imported some leads from Facebook, you could create a tag saying that that was a Facebook lead um, or any sort of personal uh, tags that you want to create to organize your clients, you can. So again, I'm in my client's details right now um, because I created the new profile. In the details, this is where you can add their doctors, their prescriptions, and their pharmacies. So this is another great feature Medicare Center has. It will save all of this information year over year, so you don't have to keep entering it in year over year. Unfortunately, uh, Medicare.gov took away the prescription saving feature. So that's why a lot of agents definitely use Medicare Center for at least the prescription drug uh, quoting and enrolling because it does save those prescriptions for you. Um, let's see if I can find a doctor to add. You can see here that it has multiple locations. Um, I recommend adding all of them if you can. I'll add both of these. Add provider. And I, and I add the multiple locations because um, it, it depends on how they file it with, you know, CMS and with the carriers. So, um, they don't always keep that up to date. So that's why it's really important to add all the addresses. We can add another one too. That way you can see what it will look like with multiple providers. prescriptions. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with entering prescriptions. You'll have to put the dosage and the quantity. I'm going to add a name brand drug. That way you can see what it looks like if there is a generic version available. So I typed in Lipitor, which is a brand name. It's asking me if I want to use the generic. So I'm going to say, yes, I'll use the generic. And then I'm also going to add the name brand as well. So you can always go back and edit these prescriptions. You can add the name brand and the generic. That way you can see what might be covered or not covered. And then you can always go back and delete the name brand off or the generic off. Then you can add the pharmacy. We'll add Walmart since it was the first one. And again, this is all in the details. You can see over here on the left tab, the details of your client's profile. You can also send the scope of appointment on here. Remember, the most important thing is creating that client profile to get access to all the different features. So once you're in here, this is how you can send the scope of appointment. You can send it via text or email. This is how you track the 48 hour rule. So if I need to track it, it's already selected. Let's say I have a client that was a walk-in and they are interested in getting enrolled right away. Then I don't have to do that 48 hour rule and I can just uncheck that 48 hour tracking and I can send a text message, send SOA, And the great thing about this platform and another great feature about it is in the details, if I would have filled out everything, the date of birth, the address, all the information, then it would have automatically filled that in for my client. Because you, you don't want to send you know, your client a form to have to type in everything. So if you're able to fill out everything in their profile, I suggest you do that because once you text them the SOA, they just have to click a link, make sure that you entered in everything correctly. They won't have to type anything because you did it for them.
but because I didn't do that, I am having to have my client type in here. But once all of that information is complete, they simply just check a box and hit submit. And a really great way for you new agents to learn this platform is to get in here and do your own test profiles like I'm doing. So if this is your first time uh, using Medicare Center, you can absolutely do what I'm doing, create a fake contact, send yourself a scope of appointment, that way you see what it looks like. Um, and that's how you can learn the platform the best. So under scope of appointments, I can see here that my client signed it this date and time. They checked these boxes. So I have permission to talk about all of these products. But as an insurance agent, I still have to sign the scope of appointment. So I'll hit complete. I will scroll down. I will have to do the initial method of contact. And because this was a walk-in, I have to explain that. I check the box and I hit submit. And then I get an agent submitted date and time and a confirmation number. And this is how you know the scope of appointment is complete and you are good to proceed with the appointment. So I have their uh, doctors, their prescriptions, I have the scope of appointment. So now I am able to talk to them about any of the 2024 plan benefits. And how I do that is I go to view available plans. By default, this is only going to show you the plans that you're licensed and ready to sell with through an integrity partner. However, you can quote all carriers on here and I'll show you how to do that. So here's another great feature that Medicare Center has. This is their AI feature, which is really impressive. It's called Ask Integrity. It is popping up because I put in that Lipitor drug. And because I put in that drug, it's telling me that I might need to review my client's providers because they might see a specialist to get that drug and they didn't tell me about a specialist. So this is a great feature um, for agents to use. It'll pop up here automatically, just like you saw. Um, and so I can ask my client, you know, do you see a specialist to get this drug? And, and if they do, I can go back to providers and add that specialist. But if not, they say their primary um, prescribes them that drug, then I can just continue to plan. And there's a lot of other things the AI feature does, and I can kind of explain that um, here in a minute, but my, my goal today is to show you how to run some quotes and do the enrollments, because that's obviously how you're going to be making money, right? <laughs> so here are the plans that I'm licensed and ready to sell with. It is telling me again, I have seven organizations with 73 products in this zip code. And you'll be able to see that it's only showing me the ones I can legally, you know, submit applications for because it has the enroll button. Now, if I need to quote all carriers, let's say because maybe you don't have those with integrity or with elder care yet, or maybe they're just not available on Medicare Center yet, I can simply just uncheck this My Appointed Plans button. And then this one will show all carriers available in that uh, client's area. You'll also notice that currently it just does MAPD, MA, and PDP. This is the Integrity Home Built platform that we call Medicare Center. And so they do have final expense coming soon to this specific platform. But don't be discouraged because there is another feature in here um, on how to do Medicare Supplement Hospital Indemnity Final Expense. And I'll, I'll show you how to get there in a moment, but definitely wanna show you that this is your go-to for your Medicare Advantage and your prescription drug quoting and enrolling. So you can filter by certain carriers, by policy types. It's telling me, you know, one of one pharmacies covered. None of the providers are in network for this carrier. 
and only two of the three prescriptions are covered. So as I'm scrolling down, you can see my estimated drug cost, my deductibles, my max out of pockets, my drug deductible, and then my estimated yearly total cost. So as I'm scrolling, it'll tell you this for every plan that's available in the area. So you'll see here this WellCare Dual. One of my providers is in network and it is a, a special needs plan. So it does do some special needs plans. It does not do all, I do wanna stress that. We are at the mercy of the carriers and allowing um, which special needs plans are available on here. I am going to just filter to well care plans since that's the only one that shows to be covering any of my doctors that I selected. I'm looking for a PPO. And it doesn't look like there's one available in this area. <clears throat> you can do side-by-side -side comparisons. So you can just hit this little compare box, add different plans, hit compare. It'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the plans. You can do this with different carriers as well. You can compare up to three plans at a time. So here is the comparison between the dividend and the give back. The plan premium, there's that zero dollars that um, Jennifer's been talking about on why a lot of people do the Medicare Advantage option because of that zero premium. And then of course, all the different benefits that it offers. So as you scroll down, you'll be able to see all the benefits and out of pocket cost. So you can see the ambulance service, the co-pays, how they vary, the dental services, preventative services, transportation, acupuncture, the specialty co-pays. I mean, it's gonna go over all the different, over the counter if it's available. It'll go over all of that for you so you can see the differences between the plans. It gives you the pricing breakdown for the prescriptions, and then it even provides plan documents for you. So if you do need a PDF copy of the application, the summary of benefits, the evidence of coverage, the star ratings, all the documents are in here as well. So again, you're not having to log into WellCare, UHC, Aetna, you're not having to log into each carrier portal. You can get access to all the documents and uh, plan details that you need on Medicare Center with that one login. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and show this show more feature. I know it's kind of hard to see, but when you're at the top here and you hit show more, this is going to break it down by month for you. So a lot of agents love this feature because it, it shows you the different drug phases for each drug during the month. So you can see um, that this Lipitor is a drug that's not covered. So I can see the name brand is not covered at all. I can see um, that Kelsey is in network on this one, but she's not in network on this one. And then Kevin's not in network on any of them. This is showing me the prescriptions that Lipitor is not covered on any of them because you get a nice red dash here. And then you get nice pretty green check marks for the drugs that are covered. I'm going to stop for a moment. Do we have any questions yet, Sarah, that I need to answer? I don't think I see any. No new ones. OK. Hopefully this is, I'm showing, hopefully you're all able to see what I'm doing here. Again, this is recorded and we do one-on-one -on -one training. So if you do need more help, you know, in learning how to run these Medicare Advantage quotes, uh, we're happy to do that. 
once you do the comparison with your client and they decide which one you know they want to enroll in all you have to do is hit enroll you can download the pre-enrollment checklist this is something that you have to cover uh, before all your Medicare Advantage or PDP enrollments. Um, again, Medicare Center provides it for you, so you're not missing anything using this platform. You're, you're staying 100% compliant when using this platform. So here's the pre-enrollment checklist that you'll have to go over with your client. Again, review the full list of benefits and the evidence of coverage. So remember, I can go back to the plan details and pull that up. When you're doing an enrollment, you have two options. You can send to your client to sign, or you can do a face-to-face -face enrollment. So when it comes to doing Medicare Advantage or prescription drug applications on here, again, those are your two options. You can send to them via text or email. So they would have to have a smartphone or an email for you to send it to them or you can do face-to-face -face enrollments on here. I know Medicare Center was created to do these sales compliantly over the phone, but if you are doing face-to-face -face appointments still, which I know a lot of you are, because you don't wanna have to do the call recording, which is fine, you can do your face-to-face -face enrollments on here as well. So all you have to do is select the option that applies and hit continue. What this will do is it will take you to the application. Again, no additional login to get access to it. It will open in a new tab for you. And then it will also import all the, the client's contact info from the profile. So you can see here my client's name, all the information, I didn't fill in the date of birth. I think we're on 1959 now. Gender, and then all of these questions are gonna be specific to the carrier. So if you've already been writing Medicare Advantage, then you already know some, you already know how this application is gonna look. It's exactly the same. It's all specific to the carrier on the questions that are asked on the application. And then you go through each of the steps. I don't have um, a client's in full um, information, so I won't be able to go through all of the steps to show you, but I do have some demo videos that can go through the full application process. Um, it's really, really easy, the contact info, the benefit info, other info. And then on step four, which is the review and submit page, if you did the face-to-face -face option, you're just gonna let your client read everything on that page. You're gonna let them check the box. That, that is how they will sign, is they check a box, and then they hit submit. And then if you're sending it to them, you'll simply, once you get to step four, because you will still fill out the application for them, and then on step four, you're just gonna send that step four to them via text or email. And so once they access that, it will look exactly the same to them as it does to you. So you can easily uh, walk them through what they need to review, the boxes they need to check. And then again, your client will have a nice blue submit button for that application to be submitted. Now, how you're able to sleep at night is you will have a confirmation number in your contacts profile that the application was successfully submitted. And so you will simply go back to your contact. I'm gonna go to who I just entered. However, you'll notice that I won't have a confirmation number because I didn't actually submit an application. So I would just um, remember that when you're in here doing this yourself and doing you know, practice contacts to not actually submit the application because it, it will go to the carrier. But how you see that confirmation number is it will be in the activity and it will be right here and it'll say application submitted. You can click it and it'll have a confirmation number and that is how you sleep at night is knowing you have that uh, confirmation number. 
Now, I know that I had some questions about some HRAs. Um, those of you who are new to offering Medicare Advantage plans, uh, the HRA is something that some Medicare Advantage carriers provide. So it's only a feature that is available um, after the application is submitted. Not all HRAs are available on Medicare Center, and it will depend on how the application is signed, whether the HRA is available or not. And so I'm gonna kind of show you where to find that out at. It's also in the handouts. So in the carrier comparison chart in the handouts, it will tell you, um, I think it'll tell you the HRA stuff. But you can correct me on that, Sarah, if I'm wrong. But you can always get access to it on Medicare Center in the Learning Center. I think there might be a separate file for oh, that health yeah. risk assessment. Yeah, there's a separate one, but it has all the HRA information on there. Okay. So how I got here is I went to Learning Center, which Integrity has done a great job on providing everything you need um, in learning how to use this platform under the Learning Center. And then I went to Tech Guides. And then for the health risk assessment. And, and the big thing about these HRAs is it's extra money uh, for the agent to get during AEP or throughout the year. Um, the HRA bonus can vary from, I think, $25 to $200 an application. So a lot of agents make a lot of extra cash doing these HRAs. It's, it's not a requirement, it's just an additional a um, few questions for your client to answer about their health um, and things like that. So it's not required, but if your client is willing to answer those questions, I would definitely take advantage of the HRA opportunities. So on this HRA chart, because I know someone had asked about it in the comments, this explains to you what platforms uh, the HRA is available on. So the platform that I showed you is Medicare Center. And then you can see here that for Aetna, broker only is available. So what that means is face-to-face -face applications. So, and it has to be done at the time of submission on this platform. So the only way to get the HRA for Aetna is to do a face-to-face -face, face -face enrollment on here and to complete it once that client hits submit on the application, then another page will pop up for them to continue to the HRA. And then that's how, that's the only available way to get the HRA on the Medicare Center platform. But you will notice that there are two other platforms listed here, which I didn't go into, but I will explain that you do have access to these. And hopefully this doesn't overwhelm you <laughs> when I do this. I know it can be a little overwhelming, but how I showed you just now is my go-to for you know all of my Medicare Advantage and, and PDP quoting and enrolling. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard and kind of explain the other platforms to you. And I'm trying to check questions at the same time. Um, Gary said, sometimes I don't grasp it first time. Where is the extra training on Medicare Center? Okay, so again, all the extra training you can find in the Learning Center. So you just click Learning Center. Here's a user guide. There's live trainings that you can attend that Medicare Center hosts. And then here's the video training hub. So you can watch all the videos within Learning Center as well. Great question. And then, of course, we have all of our past trainings on our YouTube as well. Um, Irish asked, preferred method for clients, can you select multiple options if needed? Um, I, I'm not exactly sure what you're asking there, Irish. I think it was during the enrollment process of the application. Like, I think it was whether it's 
sent through text or if it's face to face. Mm. Okay. Um, so you can't select multiple options. You'd have to decide um, how they're going to sign it right then and there, whether they're either with you, face to face with you right there, or if they're on the phone with you, then you'd have to select send to them. Hopefully that that answers that. Andrew asked, are SOAs not required if you are only discussing Medigap, Medigap supplement policies? So great question, Andrew. Uh, SOAs are required for Medicare Advantage and prescription drug. Um, there's nothing saying that you can't do one. So you, if you want to get that SOA before your Medicare supplement appointment, that's okay because a lot of times when you're doing Medicare supplement, or Medigap, which are the same thing, um, you're gonna be doing a prescription drug plan. So sometimes it's just proactive to go ahead and get it, but no, it's not required to be able to talk about Medicare supplement policies. Great question. Um, so I'm gonna kinda, I know we're kinda pressed for time, but I am gonna show you the other platforms. When you log in to Medicare Center, by default, you're in Medicare Center. However, Medicare Center does offer access to multiple platforms. And so how you get to them is by clicking your name in the top right corner. And then these are all the platforms that you have access to. And again, it is at no cost that you have access to all of these. So you have access to Lead Center, which is Integrity's platform where you can purchase leads, whether they're data leads or you set up real-time campaigns, meaning you can set up a campaign to where people are calling you for help with their Medicare. Um, so you definitely have a lot of options. It does life and health leads, um, and you can get to it through here. You have access to what we call Medicare app, which is the Connecture DRX platform. So a lot of carriers use Connecture. A lot of you might be familiar already with this platform because you're already using it through a specific carrier. Um, it's really similar to Medicare.gov because um, they power uh, Medicare.gov as well. You have access to Medicare Link. Hopefully you're able to see this on my screen. You have access to Medicare Link, which is the Sunfire platform. A lot of agents are familiar with Sunfire. And so what we have done is we have given agents access to all the different platforms. So if an agent's already been using Sunfire or is paying for Sunfire, then we provide them access to it at no cost. So it's, it's just an amazing thing that Medicare Center has done and then lastly, CSG app. It's, these are not necessarily apps. These are just the names that we're calling them. Um, all of these platforms open in a new tab. So it's just very user friendly. So I can navigate between um, each platform on each tab. Again, there's no additional login. There's no cost. It's all automatic. So you'll see here, this is what we call Medicare app, but it is the Connecture platform. Um, again, Medicare app is Medicare Advantage and PDP only. And then Medicare Link, which is the Sunfire platform, it's Medicare Advantage and PDP. It does some Medicare supplement, but not all. So you'll see here, it is the Sunfire platform. We just call it Medicare Link. And then lastly is CSG app which is CSG Actuarial. They are now an integrity partner. So you as a broker have full access to CSG Actuarial, which is so impressive. You can see here, you can quote your Medicare supplements. You can do Medicare Advantage, PDP, hospital indemnity, dental and vision, final expense. You can see all of that within CSG Actuarial. This platform works a little bit different, but you can always quote all carriers on here. So this CSG app, I'm gonna go back to the Medicare Center dashboard and show you this again. 
you click your name in the top right corner and you go to CSG app and it opens this tab. This is my go-to for all Medicare supplement quotes. If you have ever called in to elder care for a Medicare supplement quote, which we do that as well, you're more than welcome to call our agent service team uh, and we can run quotes for you, but we want you to know that you have full access to run all of these quotes yourself at any time. So this is our go-to. You just go to Medicare Supplement and you hit Run Quote. Again, or I, not again, this is my first time saying it on this training, but these platforms do not talk to each other. So if I create a contact in Medicare Center, it is not going to be in CSG or Medicare Link or Medicare App. Um, that you will have to create that contact on each of the platforms if you plan on using um, the different platforms. And, and so that's a big question that I get a lot of the time is, well, why would I use this platform and not the other platform? And that's because all these platforms kind of have a little bit different features um, that are not available on the other ones. So um, some of these have a customer lookup feature where you can see if they're on Medicaid and their LIS number and just make sure you enter their Medicare number in right. It'll compare it to CMS for you. Um, unfortunately, that's a big error that happens is an agent types in their Medicare number wrong and then the app's declined. So you can definitely make sure that you're entering in everything correctly on here. Um, I'm showing you real quick um, how to do a Medicare supplement quote again. I can create a client profile, that way it'll save all the information. If I do have a client that has to go under underwriting, so you all learned this yesterday, um, Medicare supplement clients can switch Medicare supplement plans at any time if they can pass underwriting. So once you put in that zip code and you hit show advanced, you can actually put in health conditions and medications on here and it'll show you the Medicare supplement carriers that are most likely to accept them. For this example, I'm just gonna run a quick quote and kind of show you what it looks like. Again, Medicare supplements um, are the number one door opener that Jennifer says um, you don't have to do the AHIP, you don't have to do the certifications. Um, so Medicare supplements are a lot easier to, to start with. You can see here that these carriers do have e-apps available on here. So if you're writing Allstate or Lumico Ellipse, Medico, Mutual of Omaha, United Healthcare, Woodman Life, brand new MedSup, um, if you're writing these, then you can do the application through this platform again, without having to go to the carrier platform and having to do any additional login. So the ones that are available to do it on here, you can see it'll have the apply now. So highly recommend that you get in here, you go to Medicare Center, you run some Medicare supplement quotes on CSG app, put in your zip code, see what's competitive. You can see here, you know, ACE is coming in number one in our area then Allstate and then Cigna and you can see exactly you know all the carriers that are available in your area. I know I'm way over time um, but if you do have any questions about any of these platforms please put them in the question box. I want to make sure that I get them answered. Um, if you do need further training on here please let us know. Sarah and I are happy to answer questions, do one-on-one -on -one Zoom trainings with you. Um, we believe wholeheartedly in this platform and definitely want to make sure that you're using every feature available on here. I mean, I didn't even go over all of the features, but just know, I mean, I do know I'm talking to a lot of brand new agents. So just know that you have the Medicare Center through Elder Care um, that helps you be compliant and give you access to running all the quotes and doing all the applications uh, that you can write. I don't see any further questions coming through. I know it can be a delay sometimes. Hopefully that answered that question. <laughs>
Um, Linda asked, a client can change supplements anytime during the year. Yes, absolutely. Um, when it comes to Medicare supplements, they don't have to wait for AEP. You know, they don't have to wait for that special time of year like Medicare Advantage. With Medicare supplements, they can change at any time. The only thing with that is they have to go through underwriting. So if they don't qualify for a guaranteed issue period, um, then they would have to go through uh, underwriting to change Medicare supplement plans. And that's what makes all these different, that's why there's so many different Medicare supplement carriers because all of their underwriting is very different. And that's how they remain competitive with the rates in their underwriting. Uh, Larsine, do we go to you, Adrian, to get marketing material? Uh, yep, me or Sarah. We are your digital team. That is what we uh, went to college for. So we definitely can help you with some marketing material. You just have to reach out to either of us and we can send you uh, our approved pieces. Great questions, everyone. Thank you so much. I know that there is a little bit of delay on GoToWebinar, so if you do have any questions, please put them in the question box. Um, our marketers will be reaching out to you after this to make sure you don't have any additional questions and to make sure, you know, if you are interested in working with elder care for 2024, that, you know, you have all the information that you need um, and to help you get set up because we definitely want you to have the most successful year you've ever had and so and how you start that is by in january it's a new year so definitely here to help you um, any way that we can there is a survey at the end of this training please provide any feedback if there's if i went too fast let me know if i missed something let me know if you have any suggestions um, or additional topics that you need me to go over please let us know in the survey um, and we are always reading those and appreciate you taking the time for this training, for all the trainings. And we still have one more part, right, Sarah? Mm -hmm. What is our last part? We're gonna learn how to be in our successful era this year, tomorrow, so. I like it. I love the era's endurance training theme. It's been a lot of fun. Um, so definitely look forward to seeing you all on tomorrow morning. Linda said, thank you. Y'all are great. Thank you, Linda. You are great too. <laughs> See you all tomorrow.